Right now, that brand new Apple Studio display behind me is nothing more than a dust collector. Let me explain. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is David Tomic and I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. A couple days ago, I received that brand new Apple Studio display behind me and boy was I excited to open it up. Now, I'll preface this with I've ordered a brand new Mac Studio as well, the M1 Ultra chip, which hasn't arrived yet. I ordered them both at the same time. That one arrived in three weeks. The Mac Studio isn't due for at least another six weeks. So I thought, you beaut, let's open this bad boy up, put it on the desk and start using it with my Windows PC. All sorts of reviews on the internet have said, yes, you can absolutely use it with your PC. So I didn't really look into it too much further and that probably should be the biggest red flag for me because I should have known to dive deep into every tech product before I get excited about it. Now, if you're running a Windows PC and you have a brand new studio display in mind, you better make sure that your PC has some sort of Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 compatible port in the system. Because if it doesn't, you're gonna have the same problem as I do right now. It's literally black, it's literally blank, it will not function. It doesn't matter what kind of workaround you're trying to figure out, be it a HDMI cable into a Thunderbolt adapter directly into the back, USB-C to display port doesn't work. Direct HDMI to USB-C cable doesn't work. Now, you may be thinking, maybe this display doesn't work. Maybe you should really test it out before you make this video. I actually did that before I got too disheartened about the whole thing because that display there works perfectly with the brand new 24 inch iMac behind me as a secondary display and boy is it good. The brand new studio display is actually incredible. It is crisp, it is clear, and I'm extremely excited to use it with the studio display when it does arrive, and I will do a full unboxing and full review of that when the time comes, when it arrives. And for the time being, I'm literally just gonna have to push it to the side and hope for the best. If you by any chance know of any workaround that I haven't tried, that the internet hasn't figured out yet, well, please leave a comment down below because currently my eight-year-old custom-built gaming tower down there running a HDMI cord directly from the graphics card up into a Thunderbolt adapter does not work and that is the closest thing I'm going to get to a Thunderbolt port in any way, shape or form because there's no chance I'm upgrading that desktop with a brand new Mac Studio arriving in a couple of weeks. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really just wanted to share with you that if you don't have a PC without a Thunderbolt port in the back anywhere, then don't worry about buying the Studio Display because it won't work.